vision for the health, Lord, for the deliverance. So many things happen in the realm of the spirit, and we do not even understand, we do not know. But the Lord himself, oh, he, the Lord himself delivers us from all forms of evil. He said nothing shall by any means hurt you. He has kept us. He has kept us for keeping us. Let's say thank you. Oh, yes, God, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. Jesus, we come. We come in the name of Jesus, Lord, and we acknowledge you, oh God. We say thank you. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for protection. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you. Thank you for the help that you have given us. Thank you for the mercy that you show us. Thank you, Jesus. We say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. If you can pray in the spirit, begin to pray. Begin to pray and give thanks in the spirit. Mazuta la katazi ke bori barana kadi anda barosi antuta bula na masheke rebo shakege dege oh thank you for calling us to yourself begin to thank God for calling you to Himself oh yes Lord for He the Bible says no one comes to the Father except the Father draws him except the Father calls him He is the monarch of the whole universe He is the monarch of the universe He's found favor in me He found favor in you to call us to Himself. Let's say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for calling us to yourself. Thank you for making us your own. Thank you for marking us with your spirit. Thank you for sealing us with your spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, because we are your own. Lord, we bless your holy name. We worship you. Lord, because money cannot buy it. Oh, yes, Lord, there is nothing we can do to deserve this privilege. Lord, we worship you. Father, we worship you. You <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And the scripture that comes that that's just coming to my mind right now. Um, I'm trying to find find the actually specific scripture, but I know we can all find it. It says, "The Lord is." my portion mm. and my cup of blessing mm. he guards all that is mine yea lines are falling for me in pleasant places the lord the, the focus there is the lord is my portion mm. the lord the, i think niv says the lord is my inheritance mm. and my cup of blessing and he guards all that is mine mm. He guards all that is mine. And after that, he says, yeah, lines are falling for me in pleasant places. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. It just came to my mind. I've really not thought about that scripture in a very long time, but it just came to my spirit. The Lord is my portion. You know what it means? The Lord is my inheritance. The Lord himself is my portion. It's not a physical thing. It's not a material thing. The Lord is my portion. I want us to ask that the Lord will open our eyes eyes to begin to see him but not cause me to begin to see you as my portion you are my inheritance you are my cup of blessing 
cause me to drink of you, oh God. I worship you. You are my inheritance. Lord God Almighty, you are all that we need. You are all that we need. You got all that is ours. This means that my family is protected because, oh God, you are my portion. My job is protected because you are my portion. In the name of Jesus, my health, Lord, is protected because you, oh God, you are my portion. For the Lord is my portion. The Lord is my inheritance. He's my cup of blessing. He guards all that is mine. Let's bring all that is ours. Our family, our loved ones, our job, our finances, our health, our desires, our dreams, all that is mine. He says he guards all that is mine. He protects all that is mine. Why? Because he is my inheritance. He is my portion. Oh yes, God. Let's begin to declare the word of the Lord. I shall suffer no loss because the Lord is my portion. I shall suffer no loss because the Lord is my portion. My, I will not lose my family because the Lord is my portion. I will not lose my life because the Lord is my portion. I will not lose my death. My destiny will not be will not be manipulated by the enemy because the Lord is my portion. My family is under the protection of God because the Lord is my portion. He is my inheritance. Oh yes, I increase in every area because the Lord is my inheritance. When I have the Lord as my inheritance, hey, lack is far away from me. Fear is far away from me. Terror is far away from me because the Lord is my portion. The Lord is my inheritance. The Lord, because we have the Lord, yes, he has. We have everything. We have everything. The Lord is my portion. The Lord is my inheritance. He's my cup of blessing. He guards all that is mine. Hey, whatever it is, name it, name it, name it right now. The Lord guards it. He says all that is mine. People. Your job, your finances, your health, your relationships, everything that is yours comes under the protection of God because the Lord is your portion. Oh Lord, we worship you. Oh Lord, that as a point concerning that. Let's go to our scriptures. We we'll go to our scriptures. I think we should take um the, the the Luke chapter ten. Let's do Luke chapter ten. Um, we're praying the Lord. Let's still have that scripture in, at the back of our minds. The Lord is my portion and my inheritance. He guards all that is mine. And so we're praying protection for this week. We're praying protection for for our lives, for our families, for all that concerns us. That's why we let's go to Luke chapter ten, and we're going to um, pray from verse. 19 and that's one of our um, scriptures where we which we pray every week and let's declare it over our lives in the name of jesus christ thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit luke chapter 10 verse 18 and i read it says behold i give you authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the Lord is our portion. Because the Lord is our inheritance. He guards all. I give you authority. So let's begin to take authority in the name of Jesus Christ. For he has said it here. I give you authority. I give you authority by the authority in the name of Jesus. We decree and we declare in the mighty name of Jesus that nothing shall by any means hurt us. Nothing. He says, no thing. And he says, by any means. So it doesn't matter how it comes. Oh, he does, he doesn't have to be big, he doesn't have to be small, as long as it is set to hurt us, it shall not come to pass. In the name of Jesus, over our families, if you know their names, begin to speak. In the name our of children, Jesus, over our children, our spouse, nothing shall by any means hurt me. Uh, nothing shall by any means hurt my family, so hurt my daughter, hurt my, my, my relatives. 
my job, nothing shall by any means hurt me. This is the word of God. Nothing shall by any means hurt the family of God. In the name of Jesus, on the earth, eternal life, Christian fellowship. In the name of Jesus, for the Lord is our portion. The Lord is our inheritance. He's our comfort, blessing. He guards all that is ours. Oh yes, we shall live and not die to declare the good words of God. Our children are for signs and wonders. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Oh yes, Baba Shatele Botom Telerebe, Nishakatali Bragada Gada Gaba Ku, Mandoli Pregedege, Lopi Namaka Sole Dege 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 Dege. He says we shall tread upon, we shall trample upon serpents and scorpions. See, we know we know by the teachings we have received that. When the Bible says serpents and scorpions, it doesn't only it doesn't just mean literal serpents and scorpions. Mm -hmm. People could be serpents, mm -hmm. people could be scorpions, mm -hmm. policies could be serpents, mm -hmm. policies could be scorpions. He says we shall thread upon all of them. Whatever it is, whatever it is that is set by the kingdom of mm -hmm. darkness against the people of yes, God, Lord. this is the word of yes, God. And we stand yes, upon the confidence yes, that we have. In God's word to oh, declare God. that nothing God. shall God. by nothing. any means God. hurt the people God. of God in the name God. of Jesus, God. not just me, God. not just my family, God. but the family of God, God. on the earth. God. In the name God. of Jesus God. Christ, the Son God. of the God. living God, the we decree and we declare a covering of God. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over our life. We shall live and not die. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. We will spread upon the serpents of all the things that have been sent by the enemy to destroy us shall be turned around for good. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, my sheep nothing shall by any means we tread upon them Lord we tread upon them Lord we tread upon them Lord and we fear no evil because the Lord is in Christ Jesus thank you thank you Lord some of us may be saying it feels like I'm walking through the valley of the shadow of death things are so tough I don't feel good yes we're praying and we're praying this and I, it doesn't look like, mm -hmm. but hey, the word of God says, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we fear no evil because the Lord is with us, which means there's a possibility mm -hmm. you could be in the valley of the shadow of death. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter how you got into mm -hmm. the valley of the shadow of death. The Lord says we will fear mm -hmm. no evil, mm -hmm. no evil because the Lord, who is our portion and our inheritance, he is with us. Amen. And one with God is majority. Amen. No weapon. He says, who is it that shall speak? Amen. And it shall come to pass when the Lord has not spoken. Amen. Therefore, whatever has been spoken against us that was not spoken by the Lord yes. today, Amen. in the name of Jesus, we reverse it. Amen. We reverse it. Amen. We decree it shall not come to pass. We, re we reject it in our uh, mind. In the name oh, of Jesus, we reject it. We reject it. Begin to reject oh, over your life, over your family, over all that, that concerns you, whatever that is oh, not of God. It says that which was planted, that was not planted by my father, shall be uprooted. Father, everything that was planted in my mind, in my heart, in my family, in my body, everything that was planted, that was not planted by my father, shall be uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. We say no. We say no. We say no to that which is not of God. No longer, not anymore, shall the enemy have his way over our lives because we belong to Jesus. And we know, we know right now who to whom we belong. We know whose we are. We know who we are. We know that all power belongs to God. All power, all the good and the bad, they belong to Him. Oh, yes, all power belongs to God. Let's turn our Bibles to Psalm 91. And let's begin to declare. 
the covenant of protection over our lives, over our family. Libra Namatalaka. We surrender to you, Jesus. We surrender to you, Jesus. Oh, we're not careful to know. <laughs> we're not careful to know what we know is that we are hidden in Christ and Christ in God. We are hidden in Christ and Christ in God. We eat his flesh and we drink his blood. And because we eat his flesh and we drink his blood, the word of God says, just as my I my in, in the book of John, chapter 6, I think verse 53 down, he says, just as I live because of my heavenly father, when you eat my, my flesh and drink my blood, says Jesus, you will live because of me. Mm -hmm. You live because of me. I'm alive because of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'm on earth today. I sleep and I wake up mm. because of Jesus. Mm. And if he, if, he, if he keeps us alive, there's a purpose. Yes. And that which he has, has given us life for shall not be destroyed. Amen. In the name of yes. Jesus, we will fulfill yes. the purpose of God yes. concerning yes. us. The church yes. will fulfill Amen. the purpose of God on the earth. Amen. The body of Christ will Amen. fulfill the purpose yes. of God Amen. on the earth. We decree Amen. and we declare, yes. your kingdom come, yes. your will be done on earth as yes. it is done in yes. heaven. This, O oh God, we join our hearts together to decree and to declare in the land of Edmonton, in the land of Alberta, in the land of Canada, in the in North America, all over the world, all over the nations, that your kingdom come, your will be done. We are not careful to know. We stand, we stand upon the righteousness of Jesus, not upon our own righteousness, my righteousness. Our righteousness is nothing but a filthy rag before God, but upon the righteousness of Jesus Christ, we stand and we declare that the Counsel of the Lord alone shall stand in the name of Jesus. Rotina Makashi Legebosa. Have your way, Spirit of the Living God. Have your way, Spirit of the Living God. Have your way. We submit ourselves to you. And we read and we declare Psalm 91. If you have your Bibles, open it and read, declare just as we're saying. Speak it over your life personalize it mm. we're going to declare in the name of jesus name because of jesus. and i'll say it again this mm. is how i read psalm 91 over my life and over my family because i am in christ mm. Because the Lord is my inheritance, mm -hmm. because he's my cup of blessing, because he guards all that is mine. Mm -hmm. I decree and I declare yes. that because we dwell, because I'm in Christ, it means mm -hmm. I dwell in the secret place of the Most High. I mm -hmm. am in Christ. Mm -hmm. Because we, Eternal Life Christian Fellowship, the mm -hmm. body of Christ, mm -hmm. we are in Christ. Yes. We dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Therefore, we abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Pull out your Bibles and, and declare with me. Pull out your Bibles and declare with us. Let declare with us. Personalize it in the name of Jesus. If you have your phone, pull out your phone and read it. Read it. Speak. Open your mouth and speak. Declare it in the name of Jesus. Because we dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Yes, We abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We will say of the Lord. He is our refuge and our fortress. He's our God. In him we will trust. Surely the Lord will deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover us with his feathers and under his wings we shall take refuge. His truth shall be our shield and our buckler. I want us to take a moment there and begin to declare the truth of God concerning us. What has the Lord told you for your life? He says his truth shall be your shield. We know what a shield is. That thing, we've seen all these medieval movies and we've seen the warriors, we've seen the knights carry up their shield for protection. There are times when they can form, they can form a, a, a group, they can form something and, and they put up the shield and nothing can penetrate it. That's the word of God. His truth shall be our shield and our buckler. Our buckler is something. I know we've all seen it. We've all seen it. Something that this very big balloon that people go inside and they seal it up and you can roll and roll. And no matter what happens, nothing can penetrate it. That's what a buckler looks like. He says his shield, his, his, his 
truth is our shield and our buckler. So when we are inside that buckler of the word of God, nothing can hurt us. Nothing can come against us. We're inside that bubble. We're inside that thing. We're inside that thing and we're protected. Even if an arrow is shot at us, bounces back and goes away, it doesn't get to us. He said, you shall not be afraid of the terror by night. Every, every fear of darkness, every fear of the night, we come against you. In every way that the enemy has tried to penetrate the minds of our children and try to plant in fear, we will put and we will say the spirit of love and power and a sound mind in any way we have allowed our minds to receive knowledge and wisdom that is not sound today we reject it in the name of jesus and we decree and declare we have a sound mind we have a sound mind our children have a sound mind i have a sound mind we have the mind of christ we have the mind of christ we speak of our children we speak of our destiny we speak of our students we speak of the church we speak of the body of christ we have a sound mind we have a sound mind every spirit of fear is uprooted by the power in the name of jesus that which the lord has not planted shall be uprooted in the name of jesus Nico Saraba, we shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand, but it shall not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we look and see the reward of the wicked. Father, we declare in the name of Jesus, our lives over this week, over our families, we bless your holy name. We thank you, Lord, for this time again, oh God, to hear your word, to learn from you, oh God. We say thank you. Lord, have your way. Holy Spirit, breathe on your word, oh God. Lord, let somebody, oh God, let someone, oh God, be blessed, oh God. Oh Lord, touch somebody, oh God. Transform even us, oh God. Oh Lord, do something new in our lives, we pray, oh God. In Jesus' name, mm-hmm. amen. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we're just having technical difficulties. I lost my Wi-Fi <laughs> on the stream. So thanks for your patience. Um, hopefully this will be recorded and we can upload to YouTube later. Um, so we're going to continue on with Ephesians 4. Um so I know last time um, when Pastor was going over this, he read over um, up to 10 and 11. Mm-hmm. So he um, talked about how Jesus had ascended. Um, first, he descended mm-hmm. all the way to the depths, the very depths yeah. of hell, mm-hmm. so that everybody, so anybody who has sinned will sin, um, has the ability to be saved. Because yeah. you think about like the timing of God, like he created time. Mm. So he's outside of time. Um, So even like if people weren't there at that time, Mm. he was kind of ministering to them already. Um, And then he went all the way up, 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 up Mm. Mm. to the highest level. Highly exalted, yeah. Um, Mm. And it's just amazing to think that he went through all of that Mm -hmm. to save every single soul Mm. possible. That's how much his love is Mm -hmm. for us. It's just incredible. Amen. And um, verse 11, and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. So in this talks about how um, mm. God calls different people for different types of ministry. Mm. Um, because mm. even though he did that for us, mm-hmm. um, he died and was resurrected. Mm-hmm. Um, there's still, they need to increase the possibility for just more and more souls to mm. be reached. So there has to be people on earth doing that groundwork mm. to reach out to as many souls as possible as mm. well. Um, and it depends on who the person is, if they'll be an apostle, a prophet, mm. um, pastor, teacher, 
Do you have anything to add for that first? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lindsay. Yeah, just as you started with how God descended first. He came on on this earth. He came in the form of man mm -hmm. because he had to come die for humanity. He had to come die for the creature that God created because man went um, away from the pattern that God intended at first. And the, the plan of God was corrupted. Sin came to be and Christ had to come in the form of man. He had to become man that he might be able to die for this man and also give life after he ascended praise the lord and as you said he des he descended to to hell to where there was to um to hell so that he might be able to capture even those that are born those that are unborn for the whole world for the sin of the whole world he had to capture all them and even when he went there so the funny thing is that the bible says he that had no sin mm -hmm. went down there mm -hmm. and god's miraculous power saved him because christ had no sin because the enemy thought that killing him would end everything but the word of god tells us that christ had no sin mm -hmm. so that was the legal ground that was used to save him god saved his son Amen. right by his word because he said christ had no sin he who had no sin became mm -hmm. the sin of the world yes. so there was no legal ground whoever the enemy wanted to use in order to to maybe make him stay in hell or in the abyss or wherever he went so god resurrected him god brought him out of that place and made him he he was highly exalted he exalt exalted him he gave him the glory he had in the beginning mm -hmm. with the father so that is the, the the wonders of god that's what god has done for us and in him in him we have this life and um as we receive christ we die with him and we resurrect with him that is the same symbol we we when you receive christ he, he's telling you that you have to die to the sins of this world that you might receive his own life mm -hmm. so um 10 here says um he that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens that he might feel all things that he might fulfill all things um other scriptures also say um he has been given a name that is higher that is above all other names that the mention of the name jesus every knee will bow every tongue shall confess that jesus christ is lord mm -hmm. amen um i can continue to 11 and it says he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers and why is this why are these offices being given all this, everything about the Bible is unto God. Mm -hmm. All these things are unto, it's for the glory of God. Um, the Ephesians 4, if you um, read, um, let me see, from 3, Ephesians 4 from 3, it says, Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace, there is one body, mm -hmm. and one Spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling we are called in one hope the hope we have is in christ jesus so all these things whether um he had the people he has called whether to be apostles to be prophets is for the church is for the ministry it goes on to say 12 here says for the perfecting of the saints for the work for the work of the ministry for edifying the body of Christ is for the body of Christ. We have been given this, this offices of whether evangelist or pastor, they all have different um, uh, um, offices as they are called and they do, um, they're, they're all not, they're not all the same. 
but all together it's for the um for the church for the the saints is for the work of the ministry for edifying the body of christ um someone gave an analogy says we are the body of christ so why are we fighting so can one hand then say oh we are not of this and another hand say we want to cut off and not be of this. if we are one we have to stay mm -hmm. we are the body of christ there's no way there can be division it says yes um, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace as the body of Christ, no matter your denomination, no matter where you're from, your, your, your worship, mm -hmm. I would say. The goal is to give honor to God, to Christ, is to worship God. If we are truly the body of Christ, that there, there is no need for, okay, we are this, so we don't mingle with this, or we don't talk with this, we keep malice with that. That is not how things should be. Mm -hmm. It is only men that would come up with those kinds of things where we are, they start fighting or they start keeping malice or whatever, this unity. So that is, things are not supposed to be so from, from what we are learning here. We are to be of, we are of one body. Mm -hmm. We are of one spirit. There's no different Holy Spirit for different, whether parishes, yeah. whether denomination. There's no different. God did, does not have um, different, I don't know, how many are we in this world? Yeah. So different kinds of Holy Spirit for different people. No, there is one Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Christ is the body of Christ. There's mm -hmm. one Christ. Mm -hmm right and that's what we should understand as children of god and we own we can only become this true love mm -hmm. right we can only become this true lowliness it says with all loneliness and meekness with long suffering forbearing one another it takes a lot of forbearing one another because people are coming from different places mm -hmm. people are coming from different with different analogy or understanding of things but the most important thing here is christ yes. the most important thing we need to remember is that we are the body of christ what are we fighting for are we fighting to divide christ <laughs> are we fighting to share christ or what so we need to understand that we are the body of christ mm -hmm. and all that we do has to give honor and glory to god mm -hmm. praise the lord Hallelujah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, even though like we've gone over this so many times, mm -hmm. um, it's just always remarkable to think of that. And even when you were talking about the, the meekness, long suffering, and forbearing of mm -hmm. one another and how we all come from different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. um, that's one of the key things even within ELCF and L Nation mm -hmm. is that we, um, we have much, much diversity, like even within world nations, like mm -hmm. different countries and um so that's even more important um with us here um because as we're getting to know each other and we've actually we've been learning about love yeah. um and what god kind of love is in mm -hmm. our soc mm -hmm. um and just it's like just laying mm -hmm. down so many things that you think um mm -hmm. is what you're supposed to do and if somebody does something to offend you to not hold that mm -hmm. to not carry that against them because then mm -hmm. that limits the unity mm -hmm. in us becoming one um which is and of course the enemy doesn't want us doesn't want yeah. us to become one yeah. and to have unity because mm -hmm. when we have unity and we are one we are mm -hmm. much stronger mm -hmm. um so the enemy do doesn't want that mm -hmm. so yeah that's just something that i think a lot of us are continually dealing with mm -hmm. um even though we're leading this bible study we're we're going through these things mm -hmm. um we're not perfect mm -hmm. um yeah. But yeah. God is also calling us into maturity. Yes. Right? That yes. the purpose, um, this scripture is also edifying us and telling us, okay, we we were born again like babies, mm -hmm. drinking milk and all that, but he wants us to not start growing. Yes. So and love love is about maturity. For bearing one another is about growing and maturing and not and not um and not being um selfish mm -hmm. about things is about laying down your life <laughs> laying yes. down your own self mm -hmm. for another mm -hmm. the bible says 
we are we ought to have balls of mercy mm -hmm. if you can imagine what that is onto one another balls of mercy because god knows we are humans for sure yeah and we are walking towards um becoming like him so the the, the goal is to walk in the in the ways that christ walk mm -hmm. and and to progress god wants us to progress god wants us to grow yes. and not to be stagnant in our babyhood mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in our childhood state because any parents will be worried yeah. that their child is not growing and just drinking milk mm -hmm. no parent will be happy about that they would want their child to eat other food right it's the same thing here god wants us to grow spiritually and how do mm -hmm. we go grow spiritual by leaving those things mm -hmm. those childish things that were whether it's um someone gets into your space or things irritating you those things that easily beset us that we might grow in god's own kind of love yes. right um yeah can go the, the, it just made me think of like um first peter um 1 verse 21 to 23 mm -hmm. so 21 is who by him do believe in god that raised him up from the dead mm -hmm. Um, and gave him glory that your faith and hope might be in God. So, and then when we're thinking back to here, how he descended to the depths and then ascended. So believing in that um, and seeing you, you have purified your souls in obeying the truth. So becoming purified in obedience mm -hmm. by under, learning the word, following the word, um, the truth through the spirit unto unfeigned love mm -hmm. of brethren unfeigned love mm -hmm. so just mm -hmm. that ridiculous love mm -hmm. unquestionable mm -hmm. love um see that ye love one another mm -hmm. with a pure heart fervently mm -hmm. so just unstopping yes. just continuously um 23 being born again not of corruptible seed but of incorruptible mm -hmm. by the word of god which liveth and abideth mm -hmm. forever mm -hmm. so yeah just pulling that in and thinking that it's just mm -hmm. living in that obedience of the truth and mm -hmm. that unfeigned love um and having a pure heart and mm -hmm. how do you get that it's by believing that um in the word mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. believing that jesus mm -hmm. died and was resurrected mm -hmm. Amen. yeah i was listening to some a minister and he was trying to explain he's like the pastors are there the apostles are there the evangelists are there to preach the word to mm -hmm. to teach about the word of god and the work is um that the work we get to do is found in the saints it's within the saints that's where you get to do the work mm -hmm. Right. Let us not be hearers of God's word alone, but also be doers yes. of God God's word. Because many times we hear and mm -hmm. we know it's somewhere there. We know, but we don't do. So the doing is the okay. Yeah. <laughs> this person is irritating me, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you do? What is the word of God saying? That's where the doing of the word yes. of God comes. Mm -hmm. So it's not just that I should love. It's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can you remember it. Do it. It's the working. How do I now put that in action? Mm -hmm. How would that now be shown? How can I now show love to that person or forbear that person? Yeah. Long suffering. There's long suffering in. Uh, is it the food of the spirit, right? Yeah. There's long suffering. God is wanting us to to suffer long because it's for some people it's a process. You don't know what the other person is going through. And God is wanting you to be patient. Wait, just wait. Mm -hmm. You you don't know because many times we want to just give answers or speak our minds or something. But God 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 say the fruit of the spirit of God is what patience, mm -hmm. gentleness. God wants us to be gentle with one another, mm -hmm. right? So here, the, where you're gonna do the work of of that we're learning here of be becoming like Christ is with the saints. Mm -hmm right is with your brethren is with your brother is with your sister is in your household mm -hmm. that they might see that you are conforming to christ you are imitating christ that you are walking in the path of god and you are doing you are not just hearing and then when we are out 
we begin to do other things, right? Mm -hmm. So it says, um, for the perfection of the saints, yeah. for the work of the ministry, mm -hmm. for edifying for um, the edifying of the body of Christ, mm -hmm. till we all come in the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto a measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, mm -hmm. that we might become like Christ. How was Christ like? Mm -hmm. How is Christ? How would Christ behave? Yeah. How would Christ react? Mm -hmm. Like that woman that um, they caught with, uh, they're like, oh, we caught her in the very act. How did Christ react? Or how would you react mm -hmm. if, let's say, there was a law and the law said, oh, uh, people shouldn't do this or shouldn't do that? God went, Jesus went beyond the law mm -hmm. and showed the love of Christ. He showed mercy. Yes. And that's that's God's kind of life. Mm -hmm. That's God's kind of way, that's God's ways of doing things. He shows mercy. Mm -hmm. He shows favor. Even if there were, there's a law that says, okay, the woman was not supposed to be caught or whoever. There were men involved too, but they only mentioned the woman. But Christ said, if you have not sinned, mm -hmm. then throw the first stone. Yeah. So that was a different way because they were trying Christ. They're like, in our law, it is that when we cut, when, when someone get caught, we are to do this right justice our justice system says this mm -hmm. but what is god's justice system say what is it about mm -hmm. it's about mercy it's about forbearing it's about unconditional love because as human we we, we have conditions to the love we render to others mm -hmm. we we'll say okay if they do this then i do that that's condition yeah. only if they would behave this way then i will behave that way to them that's condition. But God is teaching us here that we should imitate mm -hmm. him. We should walk in his path, in his way. Mm -hmm. So we all come in the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God. There needs to be an increase in the knowledge of the Word of God. Because there's no other... Um, we have no other thing to use but the scriptures of God to help guide us, our lives, right? Until we come to 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 the knowledge of the Son of God, unto a perfect man, unto mm -hmm. the measure of the stature of the fullness. And every one of us has been given measures mm -hmm. of grace. Everyone, God has given each person, some are apostles. We, we didn't see here that, oh, one person is all this. No, everyone has their grace. So it might not necessarily be, um, it might not necessarily be named here, but in the body of Christ, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Right? That's the grace God has given you. Some people have the grace to work with uh, with children, the grace to help with I don't know decoration, the grace to work in media, the grace to do all this is for what? For the ministry, yeah. for the church, for the body of Christ. Body. Even pastoring, even teaching is all so that man, children of God, the saints of God might grow unto knowing God and becoming like God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And, and it says unto the measure of stature of the fullness of Christ. Mm -hmm. So, and again, like measures, meaning that there's mm -hmm. levels. Mm -hmm. um, so we're not going to just go from where we are all the way to being like Christ. Mm -hmm. It's a process. Mm -hmm. It's a gradual building up in measure. Yeah. Um, so that's one thing like for us to keep in mind is that we're, we're not going to just change like that. It's a process. Mm -hmm. And the process is done through learning of the word, through revelation in the word. It's, it's training. Mm -hmm. God is, God wants to train us. God is training us. Mm -hmm. And right. And, and, and I'm sure we've taken trainings for sure. You, you might not comprehend everything at the same time. But when you start doing the work, when you start trying to like, okay, um, this happened, this incident happened, and how did I forgive? What did I go through to, to do that work? Was I, did God 
tell me to go talk to that person or was i have did i have a hard time even doing it like those are the working because god is starting to expose things like okay you need to let go of 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 this but you're like still holding on to things like it's so hard it's so difficult but step by step mm -hmm. god begins to show us grace right begins yeah. to teach us that okay if you are to talk this way to this person or, oh do you know this person loves this or can you go this route that's how you begin to win you begin to conquer in whether your love walk in christ in in the way you begin to grow in christ hallelujah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so then um verse 14 that we henceforth be no more children mm -hmm. so we're growing up mm -hmm. um tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine mm -hmm. um so if you think about all of the different <laughs> types of um backgrounds people mm -hmm. come from um different teaching they receive um and sometimes it's not very concrete and they don't mm -hmm. really line up right so you're which way do i go which one mm -hmm. do i follow um by the slight of men mm -hmm. so you see here um it's from men mm -hmm. and cunning craftiness um whereby they lie in wait to deceive mm -hmm. so um that's just a warning that there's lots of mm -hmm. um doctrines out there that are false mm -hmm. um and it's so you just have to be careful mm -hmm. um and and know like and one thing that we've talked about continuously is how do you know if if the doctrine is sound is mm -hmm. does it follow the word mm -hmm. um is is the holy spirit mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. um yeah anything you would like to add for that yeah as we've mentioned all things are for christ mm -hmm. all are is unto god and god wants us to walk in his ways so it says that we hence would be no more children mm -hmm. tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine right because mm -hmm. the most important thing as i said earlier is christ god the what you need to know is the doctrine of christ mm -hmm. the doctrine of god what is god saying what is god's own way not the ways of men right men would always come up with things right we are humans men will always craft something and say okay this is what they think it is but why don't you return to the bible mm -hmm. and find out for yourself and say what is god saying about this thing and and gain the knowledge of god regarding that area and say okay regarding that issue and say okay what is god saying mm -hmm. because in the diversity of people right and all that people have different cultures and many times you find culture and christianity they tend to merge it or mingle it mm -hmm. and then um bring a part of culture and say oh we think this is how it should be but is that what the bible is saying mm -hmm. right is that what the Bible is saying? So you have to prove all things by the word of God. Mm -hmm. And and the only way we can conform and become one is following God's own way. Yeah. Because if everyone was to bring how, okay, maybe this how my mom did it or my dad said we should do it and all that. People, there are good things that we've learned, right, from mm -hmm. our families and all that. But there are certain things that are not the right things. Yeah. Right? But everything needs to be aligned according to what the word of god is saying mm -hmm. so 15 mm -hmm. but speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things which is the head even christ mm -hmm. amen so in the truth of course is the word mm -hmm. um and growing up so again speaking of the measures right um and even christ had to do this yeah like when christ was born he didn't just come out um <laughs> knowing a full grown person. Yeah, no no he had to grow up mm. in the word as well and develop that relationship himself mm -hmm. um so it's for everybody mm -hmm. and um 15, 16 mm -hmm. 
from whom the whole body fitly joins together. So if you think about like a puzzle piece, a puzzle piece, everybody um, is different and it comes together to build a whole image. Mm -hmm. And if you have a puzzle and you're missing a piece, well, the image isn't going to be full. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be complete. So every mm -hmm. single person in the body is important and they all um, have a different purpose. Mm -hmm. um, joined tight, joins together and com <coughs> compacted by that which every mm -hmm. joint supplieth according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, maketh increase of the body mm -hmm. unto the edifying of itself in mm -hmm. love. So it said it's mentioned love over and over again. Um, mm -hmm. So it just shows you how important <clears throat> having to then understand what love <coughs> is, what love actually means. Because um, how can you follow the scripture if you're not even sure um, the fullness of that word love? Um, and and it says every joint supplied according to the effectual working. Um, that brings us back to like how everybody has a different role. Like in some, some are apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, um, pastors, teachers, everybody has a different role. Um, and it's all in measures. Um, anything you would like to add? There? Sorry. Yes. <laughs> um, so I will say from. Excuse me. From sixteen, from what the whole body fitly joined together, mm -hmm. and compacted by that which every joint <clears throat> supplies according to the factual working, and the measure of every part, make it increase of the body unto edifying of itself in love. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I guess the same thing you've said, <clears throat> we are all given different measure of grace mm -hmm. um, from God <clears throat> and all is onto, is for the edifying of the body of Christ is to build the body of Christ and, and the saints, right? <clears throat> 17, this I say therefore and testify in the Lord that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind. <clears throat> We've learned um, in the previous verses here that Gentiles were those that were, that didn't know God, that didn't accept God, but God is calling us to his own knowledge, his own ways his own life and we shouldn't be thinking or walking in the ways that as if we don't have a god or mm -hmm. as if we do not have the truth right the truth in love that's the truth we now know in christ that we should work in love according to the truth of the word of god mm -hmm. it's a um in the vanity of their mind. They they, they were considered, uh, Gentiles were considered people who um, did not have God, were outcasts. They had maybe their own kinds of God. They did not know the true God, Jehovah. Um, so we are to walk according to the knowledge of Christ that we have now received to the, in, the, in the grace of God, in the measure of God's knowledge, God's um, word to us. 18 here says, having the, underst having the understanding, so I guess it's still talking about the Gentiles here, mm -hmm. having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God, that's the Gentile, through the ignorance that is in them because of the darkness, of the blindness of their heart. So this is just describing who the Gentiles are, or for sure, there are still people who we still consider anybody that doesn't know Christ, mm -hmm. anybody that doesn't believe in God. So they're, the truth they have is darkened. They're working in ignorance of what is the truth about God, mm -hmm. right? And they are blind to knowing what is the truth. So that is they're describing who the Gentiles are. And God is wanting us not to walk 
as this Gentiles or mm -hmm. as Gentiles or people as people who do not have him. Um, 19 says, who been um, past who been past feelings have given themselves over onto lasciviousness <laughs> to the work of all uncleanness with greediness. Mm -hmm. So it's just showing us here the works they, they work according to the flesh. Mm -hmm. They are not working according to the spirit. The word of God says uh, we should work according to the spirit of life. For as many that have received Christ, they are the sons that have received Christ. They are the sons of God. We now work according to the spirit of life. We are not children of darkness. Mm -hmm. We are not children of ignorance. For sure, we are working on to becoming better people in Christ Jesus. But we are not children of darkness, mm -hmm. right? We are to continuously learn. We are to continuously walk the walk of faith, fight the fight of faith. Mm -hmm. We are continuing. Yes. We need to continuously fight the fight of faith. Then the the fight we have here is not the physical fight of um just um what philosophies of men and debates that people put up and all that. No. God is calling us to walk the fight to to fight the fight of faith, the fight of hearing his word because it's so um to man it's like foolishness like what what do you mean by you have to fight the fight of faith or continue learn hearing the word of God what does that mean because to man it's more like okay I need evidence before I believe but God's own ways. God is teaching us that even before you see it, I want you to believe because mm -hmm. that is even more spiritual than you saying something and then saying, okay, now I believe. Mm -hmm. But blessed are they who do not even see, but do believe mm -hmm. because there's a more spiritual connotation to that or more spiritual um, um the, it's more spiritual in that sense than for you to see because if you have already seen like okay yes i then believe but god is wanting us to hope right faith is a thing is the substance of things hoped for mm -hmm. the evidence of things not even seen not seen so god wants us to believe because we god is not physically here but he wants us in our hearts. We believe in our hearts and we confess with our mouths that Jesus Christ is Lord, mm -hmm. right? That is more spiritual. And even in whatever, whether the occultic world, they won't really come physically to you. It's a spiritual world. And they want you to believe in whatever they're doing. So it's the same thing the enemy stole. Mm -hmm. The enemy wants you to believe that he's the God of the earth right and all that but have you really seen him no mm -hmm. but he will prove things with whether uh, okay i will give you money i will give you this and that but in god's own kingdom he's telling us faith is his currency mm -hmm. and he wants us to have that faith in him to believe first we believe with our hearts and we confess with our mouth that jesus christ is lord mm -hmm. um yeah, and um, 20, yeah. 20 um, but ye have not so learned Christ, and 21, if so be that ye have heard him, mm -hmm. and have been, have been taught by him as the truth in is it's in Jesus. Um, 22. 22, is that ye put off concerning the former conversation mm -hmm. of old the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful yes. lusts. 23, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Mm -hmm. So, um, and just kind of like going back to the verse where it says in the 17, in mm -hmm. the vanity of their mind. Mm -hmm. um, so if you think like, what is vanity, right? When you say that um, someone is vain, mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of um, what's there. There's focus of their self and how do I build up myself and make myself better for myself, right? Um, but like what this is kind of, of showing me here is um, if you haven't learned Christ, if you're... Um, mm -hmm if the spirit hasn't renewed your mind, you are unable to actually know the fullness of, because if we think about people who um, still think about other people um, and they try to think of like the common good of things, um, like, cause there's, 
you know, there's people who aren't Christians that um, can present as being um, good. Like good people, mm -hmm. right? Um, but you can't be officially, like fully living in that goodness and that love if you don't know Christ and the word fully, because it has to be learned. There's, um, there, it like stops somewhere. There's mm -hmm. a ceiling mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can't get past that ceiling unless you know Christ and you know what that long suffering and that forbearing and everything is. Mm -hmm. um, so that's just kind of like what I get from when I yeah. continue reading this. Mm -hmm. um, because the conversation, former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according yeah. to uh, um, the deceitful lusts. Mm -hmm. um, so the lusts that we have mm -hmm. can be deceitful. We think that um, they're, they're pleasurable mm -hmm. and therefore are good, mm -hmm. but in all reality, mm -hmm. um, they mm -hmm. aren't. Yeah, and um, to even add to that, mm -hmm. the old man is a selfish man. Mm -hmm. God's commandment is teaching us to love our neighbors yes. as we love ourselves. God is calling us into a family. God is not calling us into, um, what do you, how would you say? It's, it's not just about you, mm -hmm. right? It's about a family mm -hmm. and you have to live with your brethren. Mm -hmm. You have to, to, to live with God's children in that family. So mm -hmm. it's not about, because the deceitful lust here, kind of loss of the flesh, loss of the eyes, the pride of life, things like that. It's always about you. It's mm -hmm. always about, okay, what I want, the loss of the flesh, mm -hmm. things I like, the loss of the eyes, or what I see and what I want to get in the physical. We're not saying those things are bad, but when it's, all that you you think of it becomes lord over you taking yes. blinding you and possessing you in a sense that's mm -hmm. lost mm -hmm. loss of the eyes loss of the flesh um pride of life it's about me oh oh i feel your pompous you're feeling big about yourself but that's not what god is teaching us here mm -hmm. he said the old man and that's the conversation of the old man the mm -hmm. conversation of the old man is how to get back to that person that hurts them to give an eye for an eye to 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 follow the law if there was a law that says stone them or mm -hmm. do this to them to follow on to that those kinds of laws and do that not showing mercy not being gentle not being patient not being long suffering the the old man wouldn't teach you those laws wouldn't teach you those things right and it says to, uh, uh, in 23 and be renewed in the spirit of your mind mm -hmm. be renewed so um what's that verse is it second corinthians 5 17 or so where it says renewing our minds mm -hmm. by the word of god um do not be conformed to this word but be renewed let our minds our minds are our minds need to be renewed right it's been taught so many things we've been We've picked so many things and, and taken it as life or <laughs> the right way of doing things. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, God is saying, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Let our, our minds be renewed. Newness, let the truths, let us be, be taught the truths of God's word. What is the word of God saying? Mm -hmm. The word of God says the truth will set you free. You will know the truth and that truth will set you free. You'll be free from your ignorance. You'll be free if if you were like the Gentiles or whatever ignorance. We still have our own, some ignorances in us. We're yeah. not perfect. We're not there yet. We're walking onto perfection. We are growing onto mm -hmm. knowing the Lord. And the Lord here is saying that our minds need to be renewed. Mm -hmm. How do I see people? Right. I know pastor says this, that we, when we see, we pass through the mountains and we wonder and say, wow, and say how magnificent, mm -hmm. how marvelous are the works of God. And meanwhile, we're passing and we, I see Lindsay and I'm not saying and standing in awe of God and say, look at who you've created, mm -hmm. right? That is God's own kind of 
system that's how the kingdom of god works yeah. god wants you to value the next person close mm -hmm. to you that i might i might be low that you might be exalted mm -hmm. that you I, I i should be able to to make you feel much better than myself but that's not what the world teaches us no right the world out there is teaching us to um do things for ourselves mm -hmm not to watch to be bystanders in a sense mm -hmm. but god is teaching us to love our neighbors ourselves and that comes with the renewal of the mind yes Praise the Lord. hallelujah hallelujah yeah because if you think of unity mm -hmm. and everything everyone mm -hmm. like if we're all working together mm -hmm. anything that i do mm -hmm. is going to impact my brethren mm -hmm. everything i do because mm -hmm. we're all connected so we have to um have that meekness and make sure that we're not um letting the the lavishness mm -hmm. <laughs> um overtake us mm -hmm. um yeah wow i think our time has oh <laughs> there's never time <laughs> yeah yeah we never seem to get very far but <laughs> we got far. We did. We got farther than we usually do, actually. <laughs> so, wow. Um, I guess I just want to. Well, so I don't. I do want to read twenty four, just because it says because okay. twenty three and be renewed in the spirit of your mm -hmm. mind in twenty four, mm -hmm. and that ye put on the new, new man, man yeah. which not the old man, mm -hmm, <laughs> right? Which after God is created mm -hmm. in righteousness mm -hmm. and true. Mm -hmm holiness so and that's what um we're trying to do is to reach that more and more righteousness mm -hmm. and holiness so that we can continue building up the lord's body and just mm -hmm. edifying his name mm -hmm. um so with that i just want to pray and just like thank you thank you holy spirit for helping mm -hmm. us with this bible study today mm -hmm. um for leading us where we what we should talk about mm -hmm. um and just helping us to understand the word. Um, and there's just so many layers to the word. And every time we read it, there's just something new mm -hmm. that points out. Yes. Um, and I just want to thank you, Father, for, for your word mm -hmm. so that we can learn it. The more that we can learn it and have re revelation, mm -hmm. we're just being further um, built up, further created continuously into more righteousness and holiness like Christ mm -hmm. Jesus, Father God, as Christ had to learn and grow up mm -hmm. as well. Um, we are growing up yeah. and for us to have that opportunity because Christ was was clean without mm -hmm. sin and mm -hmm. we are not but yet we still have this opportunity mm -hmm. to be built up mm -hmm. like him so I just mm -hmm. thank you father I thank you for this word I thank you for for ELCF for this community for this family so that we can just be one and be building that unity father God so we can just build that nation just build up your 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 body and reach more souls father god and reach more souls so they can come to you in jesus name we pray amen amen, amen. thank you everybody thank you thank, you, thank you. you for joining us tonight god bless you amen. god keep you may your week be blessed in amen. jesus name